the hidden war for rare metals, AI, space, and the battle for global power? What if I told you that the future of artificial intelligence, space exploration, and even the devices you're watching this on right now all depend on a handful of rare metals? Without them, ChatGPT wouldn't exist, Tesla cars wouldn't run, and space missions would be impossible. But here's the shocking part. 90% of these metals are controlled by just one country, and there's a hidden war being fought over them. Welcome to the secret battle for rare metals, the hidden war shaping the future of technology and global power. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll understand why AI and space exploration are on the brink of a crisis. What are rare metals and why are they so important? Rare metals, also known as rare earth elements, are a group of 17 elements that are difficult to mine but are crucial for modern technology. You may not see them, but they're in everything, from your phone to the Mars rover. Tesla cars use 10 kilograms of neodymium in their motors. Gallium is essential for advanced semiconductors and AI processors. Lithium powers EVs, AI servers, and satellites. Tantalum is used in space rockets for supercapacitors. Scandium makes spacecraft ultralight and super strong. Without these elements, the technology we rely on every day would grind to a halt. The global demand for rare metals is skyrocketing, yet only a few countries control their production. They are not truly rare but difficult to mine and refine due to environmental and geopolitical concerns. China dominates 90% of global rare earth processing because mining and refining these metals require expensive and complex technology. Some rare metals exist in very low concentrations, making extraction inefficient and costly. Rare metals in artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence wouldn't exist without rare metals. Every major AI breakthrough from OpenAI's GPT models to NVIDIA's AI chips depends on them. But what happens when the supply chain collapses? Essential metals for AI gallium, GA, key for semiconductors in NVIDA and AMDAI processors, hafnium, HF, boosts transistor efficiency in AI chips, tantalum, TA, improves stability in AI supercomputers. In 2023, China restricted exports of gallium and germanium, creating a supply crisis for AI chip manufacturers. Without these metals, it would take AI models years longer to train. AI chips require superconductive materials that reduce energy loss. Data centers handling AI workloads need efficient cooling systems, which depend on metals like beryllium and hafnium. AI-driven quantum computing experiments require highly purified yttrium and neodymium. An NVIDIA H100 AI chip uses a combination of gallium, hafnium, and tantalum to achieve its extreme processing power. These materials are essential for stability and speed, meaning without them, the entire AI industry would slow down dramatically. Rare metals in space exploration. Beyond AI, these metals are the lifeblood of space exploration. Without them, space missions would collapse. Ion thrusters and spacecraft rely on xenon and neodymium. Starlink satellites depend on rare earth metals for antennas and propulsion. Scandium makes rockets and spacecraft ultralight yet durable. Xenon is the primary fuel for electric thrusters used in deep space missions. Imagine a world where we can't launch satellites, can't send missions to Mars, and can't build spacecraft. That's what's at stake in the race for rare metals. In 2018, Japan discovered 16 million tons of rare earth metals in the Pacific Ocean. The asteroid Psyche 16 contains metals worth $700 billion, enough to collapse global metal prices. But getting these resources isn't easy. Mining them from the ocean floor or an asteroid requires technology we're still developing. The question is, will we get there before it's too late? The geopolitical war for rare metals. A hidden war is raging between the world's superpowers. China currently dominates 90% of the world's rare metal production. The US and its allies are fighting back. 2010, China blocked rare metal exports to Japan, crippling its tech industry. 2023, the US and EU invested in mines in Australia and Canada, to reduce reliance on China. Private sector response. Apple and Tesla are securing their own rare metal mines to ensure production. The US is pushing for rare metal recycling from e-waste. Private companies like Asteroid Mining Corporation are exploring space mining as the ultimate solution. The future of rare metals, crisis or innovation? With demand skyrocketing, will we run out of rare metals? The US warns that by 2030, AI chip shortages could cripple the tech industry. Companies are scrambling for alternatives, but costs are skyrocketing. Nanomaterials like graphene could replace some rare metals, recycling electronic waste to extract rare elements. Underwater mining and deep sea reserves, asteroid mining is the next frontier. If we don't find a solution soon, the entire world could face a technology crisis unlike anything we've ever seen before. 
the hidden strategies behind the rare metal. War. Rare metals are more than just materials for AI and space. They are a new form of power. The world's biggest economies are scrambling to control these resources, and what's happening behind the scenes is shaping the future of technology, global politics, and even national security. China's control over rare metals. Right now, China dominates the rare metals industry, controlling over 90% of the global supply. But how did they gain this control? Key strategies. China used to dominate the market, aggressive mining expansion. In the 1980s and 1990s, China massively expanded its mining operations while other countries shut down theirs due to environmental concerns. Undercutting the competition by flooding the market with cheap rare metals, China forced mines in the US, Australia, and Canada to shut down. Strict export controls. China now uses export restrictions as a geopolitical weapon, limiting access to these essential materials. In 2010, China suddenly cut off rare metal exports to Japan after a political dispute, causing chaos in the Japanese tech industry. The world realized just how dependent they were on a single country for critical materials. The US and Europe's response to the rare metal crisis. After China's 2010 export ban, the US and Europe realized they needed to diversify their supply chains. But rebuilding an entire industry is easier said than done. The US reopened the Mountain Pass mine in California, but it still depends on China for processing the raw materials. Australia and Canada are rapidly expanding their rare earth mining operations to supply the US and Europe. The European Union launched a rare metal recycling initiative to reduce dependence on imports. Mining is expensive and slow. It takes 10 to 15 years to develop a new mine. China still controls most of the refining and processing capabilities, meaning raw materials often have to be sent back to China for final production. This means that even if the US and its allies open new mines, they'll still be dependent on China until they develop their own refining infrastructure. The role of private companies in the rare metal battle. It's not just governments that are fighting for control of rare metals. Tech giants like Apple, Tesla, and Google are also getting involved. Apple has started recycling old iPhones and MacBooks to extract rare earth metals. Tesla is investing in mining companies to ensure a stable supply for its electric cars. Google and Microsoft are funding alternative materials research to reduce dependence on rare earth metals. Tech companies know that if they can't secure these materials, their future products are at risk. This is why they are making billion-dollar investments into mining, recycling, and alternative materials. The future of space mining with Earth's rare metal supply under threat, some companies and governments are looking beyond our planet for new resources. Space mining could be the next trillion dollar industry. The science behind space mining scientists estimate that the asteroid Psyche 16 contains more valuable metals than the entire global economy. Japan has already discovered 16 million tons of rare metals in the Pacific Ocean. NASA, SpaceX, and private companies are developing robotic mining systems for the moon and asteroids. But space mining is still in its early stages. The technology is expensive, and legal issues over space resources remain unresolved. Mining and transporting materials from space is extremely costly. There are no clear international laws governing space mining. Developing robotic mining technology is still in progress. If companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin succeed, space could become the next source of rare metals, solving the Earth's supply crisis, but we're not there yet. The economic impact of the rare metal war. The rare metal battle isn't just about technology, it's about money. The market for rare earth metals is worth hundreds of billions of dollars and growing fast. How rare metal prices affect technology. If rare metal prices go up, smartphones, laptops, and electric cars become more expensive. Companies like Nvidia and AMD could struggle to manufacture AI chips if prices spike. The cost of AI training models could increase due to higher hardware prices. The risk of a global shortage. By 2030, AI chip shortages could slow down technological advancements. A rare metal shortage could halt the production of electric vehicles. Space exploration could become too expensive if key materials run out. This isn't just a problem for tech companies. It's a problem for the future of global innovation. The entire economy is now tied to the availability of these critical materials. What happens if we run out of rare metals? Right now, the demand for rare metals is outpacing supply. What happens if we run out? Possible future scenarios. Massive tech delays. AI advancements could slow down if chip manufacturers struggle to get materials. 
A new geopolitical crisis, countries could go to war over access to rare metals. A shift to alternative materials, scientists are already experimenting with graphene and nanomaterials to replace rare earth metals. Scientists are working hard to find replacements for rare metals, but e these alternatives are still in early development. If the world doesn't act fast, we could face a crisis where the most powerful AI models and space technologies are no longer feasible. Call to action, what do you think? Will asteroid mining be the future, or are we facing a rare metal shortage that could cripple AI and space technology? Let me know in the comments. If you found this deep dive into the rare metal battle interesting, subscribe to Tech AI Vision and turn on notifications for more videos on the future of technology. The next decade will define the fate of AI and you don't want to miss what happens next.